So the zip file comes down, you open it up, and you get a new folder called Rocksmith Files. In there, we've got a set of instructions that I've just put together there. And from the start, it says purchase and install Rocksmith 2014 Remastered, purchase and install Smashing Pumpkins Cherub Rock. Um, even if you don't like it, doesn't matter. You're going to need to run it to be able to run custom, uh, to be able to run uh, custom downloadable content. Again, it's on sale. It's it's you know, maybe two dollars. Um, and the third thing is, uh, every time you launch Rocksmith, it's going to prompt you uh, about UPlay. So you might not ever, ever, ever use it. I would suggest just I create a UPlay account and sign into it, and you'll never get that screen come up again. So uh, yeah, it's it's just to get rid of the annoyance, really. Right. So you've installed your Rocksmith. Uh, the first thing to do is install the patch. You'll find the patch in this folder here. And you just double click this one. Uh, I've already run it on mine, so I'm not going to bother doing it. Um, you will find it might, you know, Mac, Mac, uh, Mac OS might complain about um, security. So just go into the security and privacy. Uh, and you have to keep clicking allow. Uh, it will go through eventually. Just keep going and, and it will go. You might have to do it three times. Then you need to back up your original um, config file. So that's in here. Number two, rename the original cache.psarc. So we'll go into here. In fact, before I do that, I'll launch it and you can see how long it takes to load. So we're still waiting, we're still waiting. It takes about 45 seconds. So whilst that's loading, the next step is to rename the original config file and then replace the config file. So I've provided that all for you. This is still loading. I still can't click on anything here. It makes me want to uh, go and have a cup of coffee or I, I don't know, something else. We're still going. We'll get a little bit of sound here. This is where it'll come up. Enter to begin, finally getting somewhere. Go into my profile <coughs> and excellent with slowly getting in there I've also provided a couple of custom downloads uh, files in there as well so you'll see that I've not put them in this version right now that one is uh, that one is I'll put uh, highway to hell in there and uh, Metallica enter Sandman which I do a search is not in there okay Clear search back. I'm going to exit out of this now. Right. We're going to quit out of that and just X the dot. Okay. So this folder on the uh, zip file gives you a shortcut straight into the Rocksmith files, and you'll see there's cache.psarc. Simply click on it rename it you can call it anything you want just call it back underscore cache if anything goes wrong you can literally just click that rename it back and you're back where you were so back dot cache dot psarc that's done uh, step three for both a fast start and a direct cable connection and you'll want the direct cable connection if you're going to connect uh, either an alternative Amazon uh, guitar connector or if you're going to use um, uh, some kind of USB uh, audio unit. Let's say I'm using a, a Behringer UMC22. Uh, it's a, you're only going to be able to use one port on it anyway. So whether you've got a one port, a two port, a four port, it matters not. It's only going to use one port. All right. So Fast start and direct cable and cache. Here's the new cache PSARC. You can either just drag that in or you can command C to copy, open the folder, command V to paste. All right, that will put a new cache.psarc in there. Perfect. Oh, what else have we got on here? Custom downloadable content. As you can see, I've already provided a couple of samples here. 
and that's the folder they go into and in the instructions here it gives you the full file path if you want to do it yourself I would drag it in or same again control C to copy paste highway to hell and sandman uh, that's that done and one last thing with custom uh, downloadable content there is a URL listed in these instructions here on where you can get your favorite uh, tracks from uh, you'll find some of them are only um, have only been prepared for PC if that's the case that's not a big deal because I've added a program here that will convert the PC version of the song to the Mac version of the song if we launch that it's only saying out of space because my iCloud so you launch that and then you drag the PC version here make sure that's set to Mac um, and away you go that will process and turn it into a Mac version the way you tell the difference on the file is a Mac version ends in m.psarc and a PC version of the song ends in p.psarc so m for Mac p for PC I'll go ahead and relaunch this now you'll see the difference in the in the launch time and uh, yeah, be not quite so pretty we're, we're missing uh, a lot of the intro screens but we're in I say that's that's around about 15 seconds compared to the original 45 seconds so uh, I'll start off and show you the path input originally you've got that option that option or that option you now have the direct connect option yes you can put your audio unit in via microphone no you won't get the audio from your guitar coming out the speakers um, it shuts shuts off uh, the, the output to um, prevent feedback so you've now got direct, direct connect option and if you go into that it'll let you pick your uh, your favorite uh, audio unit if I tick on that and select it I'm just going to string pluck a string and you can see it's picked up uh, uh, my, my low E string actually as it goes but uh, you can see it's seeing that absolutely fine I'll go back and if I go back to uh, learn a song highway to hell is there and if I put in enter Sandman is also there you see that's got some uh, bits on there because I've already been playing it but uh, yeah so they're now on there I'll clear that so I'm going to go back and uh, that's that is it you can see how much faster that was to load and you can see that it accept the audio unit as a direct connection um, you can mess around with MIDI uh, and, and create your own MIDI device on the on the Apple Mac settings um, and you can rename it uh, that's, I've done it here actually if I go into MIDI you can create an aggregate device you can put in your, uh, your your audio unit here just tick the box for audio unit and rename the uh, aggregate device to rocksmith USB guitar adapter that that will also work um, I'm just finding a lot less uh, lag using it as, uh, as a direct connection but that would show in here sorry real tone cable if I strum I can hear it coming out so that's all good so it does think I've got one on there but uh, I have not and uh, well it's probably not much point me trying to demonstrate uh, it working but because um, I don't know, you're not going to be able to hear that. But um, I'll go into the tuner and you'll see that it is picking up my guitar. And there's my E, A, D, G, B, oops, G. B, 
and high E. That is ready to rock. Like I say, there's, uh, I'll, I'll put all the details in the description um, and it should, yeah, that should get you going. And do you know what, if the, um, if the fast start doesn't work for you, which is always a, a possibility, um, I mean, I, I've got a fairly modern Mac, it's on a SSD type hard drive. Uh, if the fast start doesn't work for you, it might be that uh, your hard drive isn't fast enough. Not a big deal because you can just use the direct cable one instead. Uh, your, your start time will be you know, back to the original slow time, but it will run the direct cable connection through your audio unit. Um, and, and you know what, if that doesn't work, you can go back to your original uh, PSARC cache file, just rename it back again. Um, and you've still got the, the custom content will still work for you. Great stuff.